bloody cat. I've heard of taking a dog for a walk, but this is ridiculous. Stay. You can't say stay to a cat. <laughs> you stay back there. That's it, you stay there. <sighs> Hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, I was gonna go camping. <laughs> and, uh, well, it's actually, I don't feel as cold as I did, um, but it's not a very warm day at all. And it's very foggy. And there's some wind. Um, eerily foggy, foggy? Eerily foggy. Um, yeah, so today, <laughs> I uh, had a bit of a rechange because I, I changed my mind last thing just before I got out here. Um, so I decided jump in the car, come down anyway. And we're going to go for a walk to um, the church at Penna Malangas. Uh, I don't actually know how far it is, um, but there you go. I thought this would be uh, quite a nice uh, precursor to the trek that myself and Tom are gonna do. Uh, it might be after Christmas now, not sure. Just depends on when we can all uh, line up. I hope this isn't too shaky. <laughs> um, yeah, because obviously December's very busy. Uh, lockdown's just about to end for England. So obviously that plan's been on hold whilst, because he lived in England. Uh, so that plan's been on hold like, like a lot of them. Because we had the Welsh lockdown, then the English lockdown and who knows what the new year is going to bring. So, yeah. But I thought I would uh, I'd do this as sort of like a, a precursor to that walk, if you like. I've quickly packed a, a few bits and pieces with me. I'm trying out my uh, thermos, uh, which I haven't used in absolutely ages. So we'll see if that holds the water warm. Uh, if not, I have got... Uh, I've got my little stove with me, with the meths burner. Uh, there's also a solid uh, fuel block as well, so we might need that, I'm not sure. Um, I reckon I'll be getting to my destination around about the time it starts to get dark, so I've got the head torches as well. Um, and also my handy recording light. <sighs> Hopefully it's not gonna rain again now. Uh, just be foggy. But I didn't want to chance it. I mean, trying to make a fire with all this wet, even this this dry bracken is sodden because the air is just so wet and it has been raining. Oh, I should flip you around to have a look at whatever that is.
we used to um, hide inside there when we were very young, me and, my, me and my friends from the village, many, many, many years ago. Probably about, well, at least 25 years ago, frighteningly. <laughs> but yeah, that hedge is still there. Tree bush, we used to call it. Yeah. I hope I sent him to the right house. Okay, so <laughs> back in the village, there uh, was a guy looking for a, a house. He didn't know where he was delivering to, and there's no phone signal around here. And I, um, I had a look on his little uh, delivery PDA thing, <laughs> and it was my brother's name. <laughs> you can make it up. So uh, I hope I gave him the, the correct directions. Uh, Right, so we're just leaving the village now. Across the other side of the valley there is the uh, bike park. I can see some people out there now having a bit of a bike. <laughs> um, we'll come past that on the way back, actually. I'll go that way. Um, but yeah, now that we're out of the uh, village, I'm going to look for a little place to stop because it strikes me that I've come straight from work and haven't had anything to eat yet. Not since breakfast, really. So, uh, yeah. I'm not entirely sure why this road is so um, busy, but there you go. Uh, there's a footpath up ahead, but I don't think we want to go that way. There we go, this is actually the Melanus footpath. Decided to say the footpath on account of, oh, on account of all the traffic on the road. <laughs> we'll see if this is a good idea in a minute. So far, it's uh, following the path uh, of the road, but there's a weird one here. Do you go over the fence? That can't be right. Apparently you do. Up that way. I'm making friends with all the animals today. All right, sheeps, you can't come with me though. No, 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 no. Uh, they must be used to being fed. That's it, you stay there. I'm gonna go through this gate. You can't come with me. Oh, I think they want to. Oh yeah, this is where they feed them. Hello. So, um, cyclists can come on this bridleway as well. Now that we've joined it off the footpath. This is uh, quite steep though. I hope this brings us out to the church. <laughs> Otherwise I might have to turn back. 
It was slippy. I'm still climbing. I just come up that way. There's the road down there. Oh. God. Lots of pheasants around. Millions. I'm gonna go past somebody's farmhouse here now. It's a very fancy place. I uh, I don't know much about that. There's a bunch of pheasants up there, look. Just up there, you can see them. Just there. Um, yeah, oh, I'm steaming up. Yeah, we're up, uh, we, we climbed quite high from the valley floor down there. And um, it was steep. Now I'm hoping that the path up ahead doesn't carry on with the road, but goes down again. I don't remember this church being so far away. Um, but that's okay. We're in a cloud now, you know how it goes. Um, yeah, I still haven't stopped for food. I'm going to need to find somewhere pretty soon. It's getting a bit drastic. Oh God, that looks like we keep going up. Oh no. We're in luck. The footpath. Oh, a shotgun shell. The foot, a few shotgun shells. The footpath goes this way. So we're okay. I need to get through this gate now which holding this camera is quite difficult. Well, this is pleasant. It's so quiet, I think because of the fog. Oh, those birds are making a racket though. Right, I'm gonna stop here, because I can see the church in the background there. It's still relatively light. It shouldn't be getting dark for about another hour, but I don't know. <laughs> it's quite foggy today. Um, so I'm gonna stop here, I'm gonna have a cup of tea using that flask, um, and I've got some uh, jerky, which I'm gonna have, and I have, um, I've got like a, um, oh, katsu curry rice pot to have. Oh, this isn't level. <sighs> there we go. Only a little bit, but... Yeah, it's raining a little bit, so I might have to switch to the action camera or uh, just go with my phone. But in the meantime, I'm gonna eat my jerky. I'm gonna wait for my noodles to be, well, my rice to be ready. And I need to give my tea a stir. Sorted. Check this chunky bit of meat out, wow. Apologies if the audio sounds a bit weird and you can see this here. I've put my uh, <laughs> chair bag over the camera to keep it dry. Uh, so hopefully this will work. Now it's time for our katsu curry rice. That um, jerky was quite was, was hot and spicy. Uh, it, it was quite spicy. There we go. Oh god, I've put way too much water in this. 
Oh, it'll be like a soup. Alright, let me just show you that. I'm not going to eat it just yet, it's too hot. Stop focusing on me. Focus on the thing. Oh, don't. Don't. Also fine. Needs a little longer. Tasty though. Oh. I wouldn't normally have it that wet, <laughs> if I'm honest. Mm. I'm going to enjoy this whilst this rain happens. I'll see you afterwards. The only, uh, the only trace we were ever here is a bit of mud where my feet were and a, a hole or two where the chair sunk in. Now then, it is time to get to that church. Oh, I feel much better now after I've eaten. It's hard to find your rhythm again once you've stopped especially when you stop for a little while to have some jerky, a cup of tea, and some katsu curry rice, which actually did have a piece of chicken in it, which I wasn't aware of. So hopefully that was okay. Hmm. Oh, it was good though. And we're nearly halfway through our journey being at the church. Begrudgingly, I've had to put my big camera away, so we're on to this now. Although we are losing the light, so I don't even know if I'm going to use it. Um, I'm going to follow the road back to the village, and then I'm going to use a footpath to get back to, uh, to where we started off. And um, it might be dark by then, so if I do any filming, it'll probably be using head torches as well. I can't get this hat on straight with this hood, it's ridiculous. Hats and hoods make an awkward combination. Uh, oh well, you just have to put up with the fact that it's on a wonk, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not gonna film too, too much more now. Just that, maybe that little bit of that footpath. Don't know. But I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up so then I know that you've enjoyed it. Um, it really does help me find the uh, the urge to do more videos, um, which I like recording anyway, but every now and again, I need a little push. <laughs> um, but yeah, so unfortunately, yeah, this wasn't the, uh, the camp that was intended, but hopefully it's been entertaining nonetheless. The Peridin, Perid, I don't know. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. Um, that walk, um, all about uh, Saint Melanges, who um, saved a hare from, or a rabbit. I'll, I'll tell you the proper story when we do the proper walk. But um, saved a hare or a rabbit from being shot. It might have been a prince, I don't know. 
and it hid underneath her skirt and that's basically or her dress and that's basically why uh, the church had a rabbit on it and anything to do with Melangeth is that um, sort of a uh, almost like a, a nun I suppose <laughs> but yeah it's an interesting I'll try and try and find out more about it there used to be a visitor center in Lake Vermeer that told you more about it but I don't think that's there anymore there's a million pheasants going over anyway thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed the video now we've done that bit thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video click subscribe if you haven't then you'll know when i've got more videos on but yep thanks again and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye